Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, it is our 2024 Caregiver Self-Care Series number one webinar today, and we're thrilled that all of you are joining us from all over the place. Um, the United States, all over the United States, Canada, Brazil, and a few other places outside of the U.S. So thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Delan Elliott Midland president and CEO of the Inbrain Cancer Initiative. And um, we're doing a caregiver series. Um, we've been doing this for several years and we're, we're doing the caregiver series because we know how hard it is. Caregiving is hard, hard work. And so we wanna help today by maybe providing you some tools that you don't have, um, maybe providing you some contacts um, with experts as well as others who have gone through potentially what you are going through as well. Um, so welcome. Let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, um, my late husband, Chris, and I actually co-founded the Chris Elliott Fund, which is who you know today as the End Brain Cancer Initiative. And we created the organization in May, on May 18th, 2002, um, three weeks before he passed away from his glioblastoma. And so I know what it's like to be a caregiver. And I know how um, humbling it is. I know how exhausting it is. And I know that I definitely could have used more help. I, I I really struggled. Um, our children were three and six at the time of his diagnosis. Actually, excuse me. Yes, that's correct. And boy, it was really something to add on to my already full plate. Um, and I know I didn't have the tools and I know I didn't have the resources. So today we hope we can provide some of that, those things for you. Um, Ro Rosalind Carter has a quote that I really appreciate and I wanted to share it with you today. There are only four kinds of people in the world. Those who have been caregivers, those who are currently caregivers, those who will be caregivers, and those who will need a caregiver. <laughs> that pretty much explains all of us. <laughs> Um, there is a caregiver's creed that the American Brain Tumor Association shares, and I found it really interesting. I'd like to share it with you today. Some of it is stuff we know, but we don't know how to do it. One, take care of yourself. Two, I accept that caregiving includes the full spectrum of emotions, and these are valid and normal. Three, I ask for help and accept it willingly. I seek information that will empower me. I respect the preferences of my loved one. I accept that challenge is a natural part of caregiving. I celebrate the small successes and allow myself to grieve the disappointments. I forgive myself for my shortcomings and I congratulate myself for the effort and love I put into caregiving on a daily basis. Um, I wanted to share with you too, really, really quickly, a couple of things that people who registered wrote in that they wanted to share with everyone else. And this is their tips and their suggestions for caregiving. What advice do you have for other caregivers? You need three close people who you will bring in. 12, you will not bring in as far and an army of people who will carry you through. <laughs> I like that, it's true. Um, don't give up and get support. Social workers are experts in communications and they are your best friend. They are the ones that help us, the caregivers, the most. We have a long care, a long term care policy for my husband. And I waited until 18 months after his diagnosis 
when I was beyond exhausted and hard to know when to start it. Sometimes you only have two months with a person. My advice is if you have a long-term care policy, you should, you should start it immediately. Good advice. Um, let's see here. Give yourself space and time to feel and to rest. Okay, we all know that, right? But how, how do you do that? We're gonna talk a little bit about that today. Also do things that, that you like to do, that you love. Remember to take care of yourself. Your significant, your significant other is going to love you even if he or she doesn't say it. Remember to always think the patient is still there no matter what state he or she is in. And remember to say, I love you. Someone else wrote in, change doctors when you're not getting the care that you need or you deserve. Be grateful for every moment. Even the most difficult time is precious. And try to stay positive and always be at your spouse's best advocate. Even if they don't have the energy to put into the research, do it for them and help them understand the significance and importance of never losing hope. So we've been doing our caregiver series uh, for several years now. And we literally just uh, in 2015, 16, 17, we started talking to industry. So industry is the pharma industry, the device industry, the diagnostic industry. And we started talking to them about the importance of supporting something to help caregivers of brain tumor and brain cancer patients. And um, we garnered a little bit of support to do that. And, and many, many years ago, we had several different uh, caregiver self-care events, which were actually in-person events in the Pacific Northwest. And yes, we provided some tools, um, but we provided some pampering as well. And then of course, COVID happened and we started wrapping everything into our online world. And so today we've um, moved into this webinar series for caregivers. So this is what you see today. On our website are past videos of different caregiver um, series that we've done. And there's a lot of really helpful information. So I just encourage you to go to our website, endbraincancer.org and go to meetings and events, and then you'll find our national caregiver events section. And there's a, there's a lots of videos with helpful information in that. So please feel free to do that whenever you want. So today we're going to learn together. We're going to be inspired together. We're going to share and ask questions together. And we're going to gain tools and resources to help not only the caregiver, right? But, but help the patient. We know that if we can take better care of us as the caregiver, we definitely can take better care of our loved one who is the patient. So join us today to do that. So we wanna thank um, our industry partners for this particular um, session today which is Novacure and Servier. Um, also, we're able to do this kind of program today from individual donors, uh, as well as additional support from Triage Cancer, Caring Bridge, Great Purpose Productions, WIM Social, and Aware Coaching. Um, and support often lends itself in time and expertise as well. So thank you so much to our supporters. And then I also wanna, you know, we're a 501c3 nonprofit. So obviously we run on donations and there's all kinds of ways to support the work that we do and our national programs and our services. So you can always text EBCI to 366283. You can go to inbraincancer.org anytime. There's donate buttons all over the place, just click. You can use your phone right now and scan that QR code and make any kind of donation you'd like. Um, we're always seeking corporate sponsorships as well. Um, they really, really help us with all kinds of different events that we do, but also all programming that we do. 
And um, one of the things that we tell people too is if you're interested in creating a named fund for a loved one, uh, just contact just contact Sean, Sean Drennan. Sean at inbraincancer.org is our treasurer and also one of our board members. And we always encourage people to do fun house parties to raise dollars for us and, and have a lot of fun as, at the same time. So November is actually National Family Caregivers Month. And so we always try to do a care, caregiver series event in November. And this year, that event will take place on November 1st. And we are in the middle of putting that program together. So if there is a topic that you're interested in us bringing on an expert for our November series, be sure you let us know and communicate that to us. Because if we can make it happen, we certainly will. We are opening up registration for our November 1st Caregiver Self-Care event. You can use the QR code to register, or of course, you can go to our website, or there is a URL right there in front of your screen.